Patreonk on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. All right, I had a couple questions. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, our contracts and our purpose here, things that we agreed to in advance to experience versus what we're manifesting. How does that work? So you could say, or do we have pre, somebody asked this question, a viewer, subscriber, thank you. I love it when you guys propose, uh, qu pose questions to me that usually, you know, I can't answer in just a couple sentences. I really have to delve into it. And this is one of them. Uh, I've thought a lot about this myself and thought, okay, just how much of our predestined experiences come into play? Uh, everything is your predestined choice when coming in, including certain people that show up in your life, certain situations, who knows, stuff that just doesn't even seem to make sense, will be your pre-agreed upon choices to experience. All right, let's say you have a great loss and it makes no sense at all. That would possibly be a predestined experience if you have been living a very high vibrational life. And these things come along, it's like, this makes no sense, I'm doing all the right things. So we, sometimes we think we're doing the right things when we're not. But let's say you are, you're really meditating, you're waking, and this thing shows up and it's like, it just doesn't make any sense. Well, if you're really awakened, you don't question it. You know that there's a purpose for it or some kind of prearranged contract where you both agreed to experience something that's going to challenge you even more. Uh, you always have choice along the way. So let's say you take on something really horrific. And of course, when we're on the other side, it's like, yeah, piece of cake. I can handle that. And you get here and you go, Lordy, this was way beyond what I expected. Because you're not in touch with that euphoric state and you're exposed to all the lower frequencies going on here on the planet. You know, we're part of this collective that's going, whoa, I'm not getting that high level support all the time which is why we all have to raise our frequency. This is why every Saturday morning, I'm gonna post a global manifesting, raising the frequency of the planet. Meditation, it's gonna only take a couple minutes. Let's start doing it. There is real power in numbers. When we raise the frequency as a collective, you're accessing a higher frequency. You as an individual can create your frequency. You can take it to whatever. Uh, level, but you're on planet Earth, so you're still affected by everything here, and universally. I mean, it doesn't stop there. So, so I just want you to know that you always get choice along the way. So let's say you agree to some horrific thing, and you, as a human being, decide you just can't take it, and you kill yourself. That happens a lot, unfortunately. Guess what? Oops. You go over the other side and went, shh. I bailed too fast, or you go on the other side and say, that's it. I hit my threshold. Not doing that again, so you'll maybe take on something similar, or you agree to not take on something so horrific so that you can learn and learn and learn and learn in a different way to get past that. You always have a choice, so you can take it on and really do, do your thing here, this one shot, or you can bail. You can decide not to forgive somebody. And guess what, that's the worst one. Forgiveness, especially yourself. Have you done something really stupid? <laughs> Oops, I've never done that. <laughs> We've all done it, right? We've all done stupid stuff, said stupid things. How many times have you said something and went, wow. That was so unnecessary, and the ego is usually taking charge, and it says something, and you're like, wow, that was ego-based. Threat. I felt threatened. My ego was threatened. I wasn't top dog. I had to strike out and take somebody down to make myself feel better. A lot of people do that. I've had somebody recently did that to me. I'm like, why are you doing this? And I realized they're in a bad place. So I blessed them, but I'm not going to be around them, I'll tell you that. So here's the choice. You constantly have choice. You can change that. And I have choice what I expose myself to. I can bless somebody, but I don't have to be around certain energies. This is the beauty of being human. So there's so many pathways you can take 
within that predestined contract to do certain things. You can say, hey, let's get together and you'll do this horrible thing and I'm going to I'm going to forgive this time because I didn't in my last time. And this time you can go, I still don't want to forgive. It just, I can't bring myself to do it. And then you go back over and you go, all right, let's go back and try that again. <laughs> and then you pick different roles this time. And, you know, sometimes it may be even more challenging. Man, do it now. <laughs> do it now. Trust me. First of all, the, the new earth is splitting. We're already doing it. The split's happening. If, if you noticed... Some people are getting worse. They're getting nastier. They're getting deeper. They're getting darker. And they know it. And they are not choosing to go up because they just are not pulling out of it. They're just addicted to that negativity. They're watching the garbage. They're believing the conspiracy theory. By the way, I'm going to do more videos on this. Every reality is true. And so if you argue your reality over somebody else's, you're wrong about that. Why? Because their reality is theirs for them. So if they think the world is going to hell in a handbasket, it is. And I'm going into another dimension where I just don't experience certain things because I don't focus on it. I'm not looking at it. I don't have any quantum manifesting going in that area. I'm focusing on things that are more powerful, higher, raising my frequency. Uh, I see it differently. I don't view it the same way some people might, who might be in more negative frame of mind. Uh, you guys know that if you do that three-second manifesting, you can switch in a split second, actually. Switch over, catch yourself in that negative thought, and focus, and that wave turns into a particle. That wave, that particle, boom, goes back into a wave over here, the negative one. And this one, Boom, goes into the particle. So now you just switched into a new reality. I'm going to do a whole video on that next. So predestined, everything is always a choice. That's why we came here. It's not like you came down here, this is it, you play it out. It's like you came here to play it out. Now are you going to change the storyline? Are you going to be the hero? Are you going to be the schmuck? You know, what are you going to do with that? You get to create, that's the whole learning school. It's like, are you going to study for the test and ace it? Or are you going to slough off and, you know, ah, flunk the test and then go back over and over and over again? That's what it's boiling down to. So, yes, it is a combination of the two. Because, because it's not like we start fresh here and that's it. That pre-planning and everything has always, always been in play. It's always been in play on the other side. Multiple realities, endless realities, all at the same time happening. Your energy is in other things always at the, at the same time, including everything and everybody. But all you have to really focus on right now is this role you're playing here. Absolutely be your best. You know, I, there was a, uh, a down, uh, you know, thumb, thumbs down, one thumbs down on my global frequency, raising the frequency meditation. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine the place that that person has to be in mentally to actually put a thumbs down on something that we're trying to do that's so positive? Well, that tells you where those people are that are doing that, that have to say something negative. Instead of viewing certain things, not judging it and saying, this is or isn't for me, and making that free will choice, they have to impose their negativity on others. And this is why it's so important us to raise the frequency of the planet. There's going to be one night when that person goes, I don't know why, but I just, I'm so done with being negative. I'm so done with cutting other people down. It's not making me feel better. I'm so done with being negative. It just feels bad. It's making me sick. You know, all these other things that go on. So just remember that it's going to be out there. Don't look at it, man. Just you got to keep going forward and know that your role here, and if something shows up, you might say, okay, maybe I didn't necessarily manifest it here at this moment in this lifetime. I, I agreed to manifest it in advance to be challenged. So let's say you might get to a certain frequency, and according to what you decided before you came here, if you hit that frequency, something else is going to come in to challenge you. 
And if you don't hit that frequency, you stay down here and you have to keep working on stuff. So let's say you go to a high frequency and you go, wow, I thought I had it made. That's happened to me. I, everybody I know it has gone to the high frequency is like, whoa, whoa, wait, I didn't stay up there. What happened? Uh, because you continually get challenged to keep going up and up and up. And in order to function on this, this planet, you have to come down a little bit. Otherwise, you would just lock yourself in a closet or up on the top of a mountain and never come down and talk to anybody. You can't even relate to them. You don't want to. So you come into the real world, real, as the real world that you're creating, and then you'll maybe something shows up to challenge you and say, you know, I'm not all that awakened. Wow, okay, somebody showed up, and how am I going to handle this? you got to catch yourself and know that this will continually challenge you, and it's all for the purpose of raising your frequency. It always, all of it is. I've got 2,000 videos. I don't know what else to do other than tell you, you hold the power. You guys are awesomely unlimited powerful. Ask for the answers. Ask for the answers and be patient. I'm not a patient person. So I have a video on acceleration. I have used that a few times. It works, by the way. Sometimes so quickly that it's a little bit mind-blowing. So predestined. Always has, you always have free will. You can change it. You can decide not to go through with certain things. Uh, but be prepared for the fact that some of the things that show up are part of that um, journey that you wanted to experience before you came here. All right? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Know it is done. Right? You have that power. You really do. Blessings, my friend. You are loved unconditionally. Namaste.